I used to work for a, a private guy um, on a big boat. He was kind of new to the game and, and hired me. We fished his boat for the first year and uh, everything was going great. And Sarah would fish with us all the time. And we won a lot of stuff, probably won close to a million dollars. For some reason, after the season, everything was great and we did awesome on his boat. He said, hey, uh, we're gonna fish next year. Everything's great, except Sarah can't come. So to have somebody say, hey, you can fish, but just not with the person you really wanna fish with. You know, it was just hard because that's, you know, how we got together is fishing together. So I was like, man, well, that's not gonna work. So I left that job. We ended up buying our boat and doing it together. We had to redo everything. That's where the remix came in. I had a lot of people tell me that it wasn't gonna work. Like, oh, it's too much. How are you gonna buy, a, you know, this crazy boat and you're just gonna start doing charters and a camp out of the clear blue and you're gonna leave a, a six-figure salary and just drop everything and go do what you feel like doing? You know, a lot of people are like, you're crazy. Wasn't that crazy. I just started when I was a little kid with my, my mom and dad. We used to have a, a 10 foot John boat with a little seven horsepower motor. And we used to take it everywhere. Offshore, we took it everywhere. And, you guys uh, would go like 20 yeah, miles Yeah, we would out. go way out in a little 10 footer. You know, we just kind of grew in boats and boats, uh, bigger boats. And then uh, we started doing, I fished a few, some tournaments with some friends when I was younger. And uh, we started doing good. And then after we won a couple, a private person hired me uh, to run their boat. And then I just kept on running boats. So I grew up in the Florida Keys. A lot of my friends were captains. Um, growing up, we were in skip school. If it was like an early day, we would go fishing. There's nowhere else I'd rather be, even when we're not working. Like when we go on vacation, we're fishing. Yeah, our vacation is fishing. We went through the fishing industry. It's actually really small. Everybody knows everyone. And he reached out to me and I tried to... I feel like she reached out to me. <laughs> I did not reach out to him. For the camera, we're going to let her <laughs> say that I reached out to him. When he proposed to me, he's like, yeah, there's this really rare fish that I've been trying to catch for so long. And I'm like naming off all these fish. I'm like, black drum, <laughs> uh, sheep's head, redfish, whatever. And then he turns around with this ring and completely caught me off guard. <laughs> I guess I was the rare fish because I still, <laughs> till this day, don't know what the fish was. Yeah, you're pretty rare. We're both huge adrenaline junkies, and I think that's why we do so well in the tournaments, too, because we don't do anything half. No, just say it, just let it fly. <laughs> we don't do anything half ass. There we go. <laughs> I just had to get it out, I'm sorry. Sailfish tournaments are like the real deal. Some of the tournaments we do are 30, 40 grand just to enter. So if you don't place, then you're out that money. There's celebrities that fish them, like Michael Jordan, Kid Rock. It's, it's really competitive. The teams are really, really good. Some of the tournaments, it'll be over 100 boats. $2 million purse, so it's, it's a huge payout. A lot of pressure and a lot of money on the line. We were the first team to ever win the Quest for the Crest series two years in a row. I was actually the first female out of 600 anglers to be the master angler. That means I caught more sales than 600 other men and women. I've never won it. I've been doing it for 25 years. You know, in our industry, it doesn't get better than that. And for me, it was even more sweet because the year before, you know, those other people said, hey, we don't want Sarah on the boat. You know, we beat them, we beat everybody. She ended up top angler, so it was just kind of like a, a little extra 
I'm gonna see if you guys can check out the guy. You're, Sorry, I couldn't, you're, I couldn't you're worried about being humble. There's always like the haters and they're like, oh, did your boyfriend catch that? And once I started winning these awards, like the Master Angler and all that, I got my street cred. I feel like a lot of people, like when they actually come and fish with me, they're really impressed because I do, like I tie knots, I do everything, I gaff the fish, I can bridle the bait. And I think they expect me to just be like skipping around in bikini <laughs> and I'll be covered in fish guts. Like I go home with fish scales all in my hair and like blood all over me. And like I just went into battle. And I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. During the tournaments, we have no life. It's fishing, fishing tournaments. And then during the summer, we also do a summer camp. We bring kids out, we take them offshore. And it's so much fun because they learn how to bait fish, they learn how to tie knots, they get the full experience. The little five-year-old, he's like, ah! Like, Chica, what do you got? Build me! Got it. He was so hyped and we were so excited for him. Thank God we went and did a remix and did our own thing. It's the best of both worlds. It is our business and it's a huge responsibility, but we get paid to do what we love to do. I feel like a lot of people wish they had a significant other that they could share something that we share together. I think it's really rare and hard to find, especially in the fishing world, to want to go out on the boat, want to go in the 10 foot seas, want to wake up at four in the morning, but somehow found her. <laughs> and I but think yeah, that's why it amazing. works so well because we're both so passionate about fishing. It's something we both love to do and we get to do it together, so it's a bonus. I feel like not many people wake up and they're excited to go to work. Like every day we wake up and we're hyped. Like we're like, oh, the sails are biting today or tuna are coming through. Just like today. Today was 30 miles an hour and I woke up. I was like, oh, I can't wait to go out. I had 10 texts from people saying, you're not going today, are you? I was like, of course I am. Why wouldn't we? <laughs>